Hello everyone, welcome to BSP Solutions. My name is Shubham Timri. So in today's session, we are going to look at WMS Cloud Overview. Okay, so what is WMS? WMS is Warehouse Management System. Okay, so this is a particular software solution that offers visibility into a business for entire inventory and manage supply chain fulfillment operations from the distribution center to the store itself. So, warehouse management system additionally enable companies to maximize their labor and space utilization and we can say the equipment investments by coordinating and optimizing resource usage and the material flows. So, in today's session, we are going to look at the system architecture in WMS, okay, 3PL facility support, 3PL that is third party logistic facility support, facility level configuration, company level configuration overview and at the end user profile and menu configuration. So here is our system architecture. You have uh, got your users doing all their transaction. So uh, you may have somebody on RF device or in the user interface. Okay, so RF device is nothing but just an radio frequency device so as far as particular user is concerned their transaction going through the cloud okay so through the internet so oracle cloud services to go their primary site uh, that you have been assigned and then there is another disaster recovery site that is the backup for your all the transactions okay so all the information goes through goes through the security level okay so nobody get passed without the proper credentials so then you have the load balancing into the application server so as information comes in the, into our system it will automatically choose what route it going to go and at the last it go into the database okay so here is the application layer the application layer and the database layer both are the mirror in the disaster recovery site so just in case if there are something happen and disaster recovery site will helpful so here the backup will be there for you always okay so next one is the third party logistic facility support now the warehouse management systems cloud support multiple facilities and companies you can support multiple facilities and multiple companies within the facilities okay so facilities can be associated to one or more companies so within a facility you can have a multiple companies or uh, you may have multiple retailer material in there you can separate those out in the our, our cloud as well okay so facility or company is controlled based on the user setup okay so we have to make sure that only proper people okay so only the proper people will have access to the proper information now next one is the third party logistic facility support sample hierarchy so in this parent company that is nothing but our business unit under this your parent company you can have one or more distribution center here our dc that is the distribution center within the those distribution center you may have multiple companies okay here is a child companies multiple child companies so in case of distribution center one we have child company one child company two okay so company first will also working with the distribution center second okay distribution center second but also over here we have company three so again they are not all within the same company within the same distribution center okay okay so here is our parent company or in parent company we have multiple dc that is our first distribution center and here is our another distribution center that is second distribution center in at the distribution center first we have our first child company second child company now in case of our distribution center second we have two companies two child companies here is our first child company and here is the third child company okay now next is the third party logistic facility support uh, for facility or company focus so in this case 
you can set up your user okay so they can see one distribution center and only only one child company so based on how we set up our users we can control that or uh, you could just have that simply set up your business so in this you don't have permission to access other dcs like dc2 okay you don't have access to access the distribution center second and the other companies like the company three or we can say the company c okay so as our user is over here so we have only to access the distribution center first and the only child company first now next case that is the multi-facility uh, or single company okay so in this case we have a user with access at the dc level okay dc level at the distribution center level okay so user will have access to both the dcs dc1 and dc2 okay so they have access to distribution center or we can say the facility so you can see it over here they have only access to or company first there is single company okay based on this person setup or we can say the user setup so based on our user setup we can control what they have access to okay now next that is the single facility focus okay third party logistic support for single facility focus okay so now in this case you have a one distribution center so in that your business unit that is your we can select so for example okay let's say your business unit that is the tata business unit might be up here at the parent company level so through this distribution center you may have the tata motors child company over here and you may have the tata steel company on this side okay okay so all your vehicle parts and all your steel let's go on to the two different companies okay so steel parts okay steel parts sorry steel parts are over here and the all vehicle parts are over here okay so but here same parent company same parent company that is our business unit that is our tata business unit so, okay so this is all about our single facility focus single facility that is the our single distribution center okay so all our vehicle parts and all our steel parts are the part of that particular parent company now at the last we have the holistic view our user is at over here okay so so in this case your user is at the parent company level or we can say the business unit level so user has access to access across all our business okay all our business like user have access to like perform any task in distribution center first or we can say user have access to perform any task like in uh, distribution center second in child company third or we can say the child company first okay so user has access to across all of our business okay now next is the our facility level configuration okay so now in the case of the facility level, level configuration user is at the distribution center okay so when we set up the configuration if we configure things at the parent level or we can say the at the dc level we can say the company level it will drive where those changes are so if we make a change at facility level or we can say that the distribution center level so it's going to affect both the child companies okay child company first or child company two okay so if we change the parameter for distribution center one then it will apply for all its relevant company that is the child company one and the child company two now next is the company level configuration okay so in the case of company level configuration our user is at the parent company level okay in case of the our company level configuration user is at the parent company level or we can say the, the business unit level okay if user is changing parameter or uh, for let's say user is changing parameter for our tata motors company then it applies to all the distribution center okay it applies to distribution center first it applies to distribution center second okay when we do those configuration if you have tata motors company in multiple dcs like dc1 in dc2 then it will affect that in tata motors company wherever it happens to be okay now next that is user or menu configuration okay. 
so first one is the group what is uh, what is group in warehouse management system in case of warehouse management system groups are used to divide uh, the user menu configuration by operational team so for example groups are in form of receiving groups or we can say that the shipping groups okay now here is our user okay so user are assigned group which contain a set of ui or uh, rf menus ui is nothing but our user interface and trade frequencies menus okay so here is our menu user interface menus and radio frequency menus have a set of screens uh, that are accessible to user for a particular group okay so here is our screen so we have multiple screens like ui screen rf screen ui screen is the user interface screen and next is the rf screen that is radio frequency screen okay so in our warehouse management system we have basically two types of screen ui screen refers to tab that is viewable in wms okay and rf screen refers to the transaction that are processed by the radio frequency gun user and menu hierarchy okay so here is our users so user are separated into groups on their operational purpose in the warehouse so let's say we have assigned someone to particular group now the group grant them access for user interface menus or we can say the radio frequency menu so every user within a group will share ui menu and the rf menu that is radio frequency menus okay so in case of the user interface menus they grant the permission to view add or we can say the delete or touch the records now in case of rf menu here transaction are performed through the radio frequency gun okay we have rf gun now with the help of rf gun we can perform the transaction okay you can configure your permission so for example user is not allowed to not allowed to perform short picks okay so on the other end the and there is a parameter so this screen have a specific parameter configuration so based on this configuration you can have rf device radio frequency device that how it works how it behave okay so this is all about the overview of oracle wms cloud warehouse management cloud so thank you for watching the video Thank you so much.